Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, got the regular crew tonight. We got Christian and Anna and uh, myself, Lucas. What up? So, Good evening. Uh, so tonight we're doing a figure before Anna like ships off all the figures apparently to other people. Now, I have only sold half of the set that we're reviewing tonight, not the whole set. Oh, there you go. And I don't have the set at all because I decided to cancel my pre-order. So, I don't know. I guess uh, these guys can sit here and try to convince me to uh, try and get it. I don't know. Is it still up, like, on Amazon? It yes. was a couple days ago. I don't know if it is yeah. right now, but I think it still is. That's think, surprising. Yes. Who, who would have thought, like, somehow the uh, the Prowl and Ironhide uh, sold out and, and Ratchet, you know, and, and whatnot sold out, but, uh, but but somehow this is still available. Who who knew? Do you want to start yeah. with this or Barricade? Well, you're showing that one, so let's start with the punch. All right. That's the exciting one. Okay. I don't know. All They're right. They're both equally fine. This is Punch. This is his car mode. That is his car mode. Someone out there in listener land, try and validate me here. This feels like the... This is new colors, obviously, from the Power of the Primes one. It was an Amazon exclusive then. It's Amazon exclusive now. This one's got a like a brighter blue and a yellow instead of an orange. It feels like it's more accurate to something. And I can't put my finger on it. And it's bothering me. So Peter, what is that you're out there... Let me know. Yeah, I was going to say, we should have Peter on the show, because he probably could have told us that it's more accurate to blah, 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 blah. It's something. Something is odd about this. It's, like, really accurate to something. It's not the G1 toy. It's not the, the cartoon, because he looked like that in both. It's not Secrets and Lies, because he was orange and darker blue in that. It's so definitely what is not accurate this. to? It's not that. Yeah, definitely this not is that. It's accurate to something. It's, like, pinging in my brain. I just can't put my finger on it. So if you guys it, know out there. Let me know. Uh, Randall says it's accurate to Nightbeat. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> because I was planning to turn him into Nightbeat. Because I already wow. have two of the old old Punch Counter Punch. Well, yeah, that's the thing is, is like the old Punch Counter Punch, um, like I really enjoyed that figure. And I thought that the colors like really matched the G1 toy, you know, quite nicely. And so I was satisfied with my purchase, and I never let it go, and I never tried to sell it, unlike so certain other people. Good job, Anna. So he's cool. He can do all the things he used to do. Comes with this gun, which is really just Punch's gun, but uh, yeah, Punch, mm -hmm, Punch. And then, if you want to know, his counterpart is nearby, real nearby. He's going to sneak up. Be distracted with this car. You don't know what's happening. Yeah, distract him with the car. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about the So, is this <laughs> thing <laughs> made with, like, a slightly different deco so that people like Nick would be forced to pick it up? Yes. So, the I car like the is, case. like, was the original version of this mold, which was produced as, it was released as just um, Prime Wars, right? I I think it was released as Power of the Primes. Was it Power yeah. of the Primes? Okay. I, it was like right between front, Titans Lucas? Returns and Power of the Primes. Can I see the front? Oh, yep. The front. Oh, the front. The, the like, headlights. Yeah. I just, I feel like it's weird. I feel like that one looks more detailed than this one. Like oh, this looks gosh. plainer, the light blue version of him. Well, that one has the... Um... The painted rims, too, which is a really good touch. <laughs> yes, the painted rims help a lot, and the new one does not have the painted rims. So it yeah. feels a little less detailed in the car mode, but not the bot mode. The car mode absolutely looks like Nightbeat. And maybe I'm just yeah. carrying that belief over into the robot mode because I'm a crazy person. It could be that. I think, it, I think it looks like Nightbeat. I mean, not in that mode necessarily, but... No. I think they would have to maybe Reaper labels could come up with something for it, where Nightbeat now has a undercover character as well. I don't know. I'm spitballing here because I don't know what to do. But he looks good in this mode. The um, 
gosh, my light's going to pick it up too hard. The eyes in both of the robot mode heads are really good. I don't remember if they were particularly good or bad last time, but they're good this time. Yeah, I I'm pretty I don't happy. Know if the other one had light piping. Around. It didn't have light piping. It's just this one doesn't have light paint. piping either. It just has good paint. Oh, I thought it, I thought that it had light piping. It looks know. like it does, but it yeah. doesn't. No, it's it's got really good eyes on the counter punch mode. My punch's face is not in good shape. My punch's face came kind of scraped up, which it has me kind of bummed out. Oh, mine is immaculate. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, yours looks pretty good. Mine's mine's got little scrapes. His eyes are kind of off. He's he's okay. He just might be displayed in counter punch mode more more frequently. Even though I dislike the counter punch mode a little bit more than the punch mode. Really, so I the counter like mode is counter okay. Oh, well, that's good. We are we are counterparts then. <laughs> so the car mode is fine. It's um. I really feel like looking at this car mode, it just reminds me that um, the older figures had less detailed vehicle modes. Mm -hmm. Right, there wasn't, like, they weren't trying to make, like, a real car, they were just trying to make like, a little toy car. It's just, it's a little simpler than what we're used to now, which is fine. It's just, it just kind of really, stood out to me. I really like that yellow stripe. <clears throat> That's around the, the bottom? bottom of the car. Yeah, I really enjoy that. Because I don't I think the that. older version has any sort of... No. Paint operations at no, all. It it's just blue. It's got painted rims, which is great. But you know, the the extra ground effect stripe there is really cool. Yeah. So I dig it. What's interesting about this is like this is just you know this is a how old is this figure at this point? Three, four years. Three. 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 So this is just a repaint as the same character three years later. Like, it's not a new character. It's not a new version. It's not like this is super special awesome. Punch, counter, punch. It's just punch, counter, punch again. Slightly different coloration. So the one thing I'll say is, is that um, I know that this figure was kind of hard to come by, and I think it still is, right? Like, I don't know what the going price is on eBay. It used like to be pretty dang was. high. Yeah, it, it, like before they you know, re-release this, but like, um, <clears throat> I, I wonder if that's part of it is, is because it's the same thing with the, uh, the clone set, which were kind of a pain to acquire originally, um, that, you know, maybe they're just trying to make some of these figures like more readily available. So I don't know. Of course they haven't done that with the combiners, I guess, but except for Devastator, I guess. Yeah, I thought they might have been doing something with the 87 dudes because Punch and Counter Punch are associated with the clones, but Lucas, you're probably more right that they were just hard to get and now they're easy to get. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'd be curious to see if like Hasbro does more of this because it's the same thing. Those uh, The Rainmakers are another one that were an exclusive uh, with Target before, and now uh, Hasbro has them up uh, to order off of Pulse. So I, I wonder if they'll start doing this with some of the other figures as well that were exclusives that people complained about not being able to get. You know, my first collector instinct is to hope that doesn't happen. My second instinct is to very much hope it does because everyone should have a chance at these. Right. Yeah. I mean, I feel like with these mainline figures, I'd rather see <clears throat> like them be available. Like I don't need, you know, them to be, whatever exclusive and hard to get and whatnot that said i still don't like them being repacked in main waves like what we yeah. saw in yes. Earthrise and what's coming up in kingdom i still don't like that like i don't need wheeljack and rc to be in kingdom they were in Earthrise. that's great if you want to make them an online wave or something like you know star wars does with black series archive great Please don't put them in main waves anymore. But I, I don't know, though. I mean, like, say the Bumblebee and the Soundwave that were Walmart exclusives. Putting them as a retail figure later on down the line. I, don't, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily hate that. Like, I mean, for me... No, that I think that makes sense. I'm talking about retail figures becoming retail figures. I don't like that at all. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Exclusives moving to more general availability is good. 
Yes. Yeah, this was an exclusive that became an exclusive. Yes. He's got cool paint. He looks great. I'm going to hope that I can turn him into Nightbeat. I realize that the head that I saved for my Generations one won't work because they have different connecty ways. So I'm going to work on that. Yeah, I, you know, I feel like I didn't give this thing a fair shake the first time I owned it in the orange variant. I um, I actually treated my orange one for something that was of equal value to what it gets on eBay, but, you know, it's honestly pretty cool to me. But um, <clears throat> I, uh, I just, I don't know. Like, I realized something when I was playing with this. I never actually transformed that one. I changed it between punch and counter punch, but I never changed it into a car. So I feel like I didn't really spend enough time with that figure the first time. I think I just said, I don't like the feet, and I moved on with my life. Because that is my one complaint with this figure. Like, I'm not going to complain about the wrists, because they don't rotate, but they do switch between two different sets of hands, right? You can go between punch hands and the counter punch hands, which is cool. I like that it's worth giving up wrist swivel. However, to have his reversible legs, he doesn't have molded feet on either side, right? They're both just kind of, the car just ends, yeah. and there's no molded foot. And that's the same complaint I've had about the old um, legend size uh, mini bots is that, you know, they don't really have molded feet. So they look kind of like their legs just kind of end, which, you know, I know that doesn't bother a lot of people. And, you know, maybe for me, it just bothers me because it also means you don't get ankle tilt. I don't know, but it does bug me. It doesn't bug me as much this time though, because when I got rid of mine, I traded it out for the really old one the old exclusive one made on the classic Sideswipe and um, Sunstreaker mold. And uh, yeah, you know, I got this from a very close friend of mine. <laughs> and I uh, very much respect that he sold it to me and I, I like that, but I ended up not liking the figure at all, um, which is a huge bummer because I was very excited about it because I love this mold. Like the Sideswipe Sunstreaker mold from Classics is one of the coolest figures from Classics to me. I love it. But because this thing was made with such a tiny, tiny head, I just can't love it. It sucks because I literally have an incomplete beat up Sunstreaker on my shelf downstairs that I think looks significantly better than this complete good condition punch counter punch. With just extra because his weapons. head is the right size. Yes, he has extra weapons. He's cool. I like him. Conceptually. <laughs> I mean, I think it's cool what they're able to do with it. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know. The head, you're right, but... The head is just a mistake. It's just a bummer. Like, because everything else about this is great. You know, the way they use the wrist swivel to do the arms. The way his legs actually look like legs in both modes. He actually has feet. He has ankle tilt. It's a really great figure. I just wish they would have done a little better on the head at the time. So what's really interesting about that head is that we've learned in the years since that it actually was a mistake. It's was like, it? Yeah, it's like 15% too small or something, and they couldn't change it. We all had to order those figures sight unseen. You know, we'd seen the, the mock-ups of it, but that was it. There was no, there were no enhanced samples Nothing. So no one saw this figure, and it sold out two or three times before it actually shipped out. Because they, they sold out in like an hour on the club store, and then they did another small run that sold out in like an hour, and they did, I think, one more, maybe, eventually. Anyway, so no one had seen this figure. It, it sold completely out just on concept alone, and then it arrived, and everyone was like, oh, it's got a tiny head. I never That's minded such a it. Bummer. But I think that originally, like, if that's your only option other than the G1 figure, you're like, oh, yeah. hey, like, punch, counter punch. You know, now we have other options, so. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. I mean, that's just great. the way it was back then. Yeah, it's just different now. Yeah, it is back different now because we have the option. And... and there's still two options. Like, there's not many or three, I guess, yeah. if you want to count different colors. Right, right. Definitely, if you want to count different colors, which you really can't. I mean, like, I, I do think that this was a good effort, the old one, but I unfortunately think I'm going to switch back to the new mold as much as I was really excited to get this one because, like like I said, I really love 
the side swipe and sunstreaker mold. I know some people hate it. I think it's so good. So I was so excited to have it again as a new character. And well, I guess it's going to find a new place to live. I am still kind of confused that this mold has only been released as Punch and Counter Punch and only at Amazon. I really thought by now we would have seen Point Blank or Drift Deadlock. You know, I, it just seems like this mold would be really great for both of those well, characters. That's and that's it, the thing I don't understand too. Is is like this seems like it's very obviously was made to be made into a Point Blank as well. And maybe I'm completely wrong, but like it looks like it could be a Point Blank. So yeah, the, the Counter Punch mode looks like point right, blank. right, yeah. exactly. So I. Like, I don't see why, at this point, why they didn't go ahead and do it. Maybe we'll, maybe it's something we're going to see down the line. Like, they made the run for Amazon, and, and you know, they're going to end up making the run again. But it, it, it just seems, like, a little bit odd. And then, like you said, like, Drift is a very, like, you know, a pretty popular character, you know, from IDW. And he hasn't like, had a toy I, in 11 years. Right. And, like, MMC has like remade that figure several times like you know so obviously there's a market there for drift so it it's totally weird and i mean they obviously they have the movie drift too um it, it just seems weird that you know they haven't done either one like you said and and maybe it's maybe it's one of those things where we'll you know see it it got canceled and that you know they don't want to reuse that mold i guess i want to do a new one who knows it's just, it's strange. Oh, I, I'm sorry. We, we are wrong. Uh, Nick corrected us. There is a Cyberverse Drift. So. There is a Cyberverse okay. Drift. Yep. There is also a Drift in um, R.I.D. as well, wasn't there? I think so. I'm not oh, sure. Oh, yeah, he's orange. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. No, there, was a, there, there was one, um, Takara made one, too. There was oh, the, that's the true. White. It's still not in the classics line, so I feel like none of those count. So and Cyberverse Drift. So there was the a Cyberverse as, hasn't gotten well. a good mold yet, though. Like I don't think it will either. It's also not in the classic line. So right. you can mix your lines. No, you can't. No, uh, no. you Cyberverse can. Is trash. I tried oh to do the ruin, and I regret it so much. That look thing looks so bad. With the rest of my wreckers. I, will I thought never... you were okay with the Rock and Ruin. Nope. Who did you who did you get? You got Bumblebee though, right? Yeah, it's fine. Doesn't go okay. with anything else. So you don't hate him entirely. Yeah, wow. I'm, I'm, wow. I'm over it now. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I, I have decided to have all the Cyberverse. Do you have the Bumblebee? Did you get it, Anna? I don't. I don't have the Bumblebee oh. and I don't have the um I don't have Bumblebee, Megatron, or Shockwave. Well, may, maybe they'll find their way over to you in, in a box. <laughs> in a, in a so, trash it, can. Somehow, yeah, because I, I have all those, and, you know. Are they, are they feeling less than loved in your collection, Lucas? They're currently in a trash pile, so. Oh, gosh, trash. Poor guys. <laughs> where they belong trash good grief you two those toys are good you know what toy is good though (laughs) this one barricade but i didn't get to say the most important thing about this figure yet say it say it first sorry go ahead i decided that since i got this figure it's very obvious to me that i should make a super fun fan fiction about how both identities the punch counter punch are in a relationship with both identities double dealer it's going to be the best and I will be sure to provide many photos for everyone. Uh, You're welcome. Please continue. I can't. <laughs> I want microcasters. You made me stop introing Barricade for that. I did. My, I did. my brain is yeah. forever unclean. You and I are. Yeah, it's forever now. Cool. <laughs> anyway, he's barricade, and he's finally in a G one mode. Look at that! I think the original of this is based on some 
art that uh, who who did that? Ravi Musso who made that original art. Luke, do you remember? I don't remember. I'm sorry. Someone made it based on the uh, masterpiece Prowl toy, and just made some cool art of this. And um, now it exists as the classics toy. Boom! Police car. It's amazing. Is yeah, the, the same Earthrise mold that we've seen on Blue Streak Prowl and uh, Smokescreen so far. Now yeah, the body one. is the same as Prowl, right? The body of the car? Yes, but it's got the um, the Smokescreen. Okay, so it does fender. have the big front bumper. Yeah. Which is very similar to what happened with um, the Siege Barricade that you're showing right there. It mixed yep. parts from both versions. He is a mixer. It's cool. yeah, it's not very detailed. It's really good. Got the unfilled in, just outlined Decepticon symbol here. There's police on the side. It doesn't have Barricade's normal badges or the slogan he normally wears, but he exists, which is cool. We didn't expect it to have the slogan, did we? Like, I would have liked it. The 07 toy did. Me, me, me. Well, yeah, but anyway. He does have a painted hood. It's kind of hard to see in my light setup, but it's like a kind of a gray plastic or gray paint over a black plastic. So it's kind of kind of cool looking. It's a little bit yeah, different. Like to see it. yeah, is that better? It's like a so matte. You can see it's kind of it's matted. Yeah, which is yeah, neat. It's he, a good contrast. He still has slightly purple tinted windows, but they're not as dramatically purple tinted. As yeah, the honestly, I probably would have upgraded and gotten this set if those windows would have been more purple. Yeah, because I mean, yeah. just the purple windows on the Siege one just make him look really unique. He's just got this loud purple on his legs that really stands out. I think it's really super cool that this one kind of lacks, you know, and it also affects the car mode. Like, he's a really wacky looking car in the Siege figure. Because he's just got all that strong purple, and it's pretty. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. My other one's over here. It feels like I need to have some representation of that old mold, because I do like it. But I think I'll probably just end up having Rusticons. Are the Rusticons yeah. going to be in the, the Siege? They're in the Siege mold, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy thousands of those. Me Not too. really. I'll probably buy like three or two. Oh, this is a terrible number. I'm hoping, I'm just hoping that they get clearance. I'm really hoping that for the fossilizers too. I hope they get clearance for the cheap well, so I can just buy a ton of them. So those rust figures or whatever is going to be an exclusive, like, right? It's probably going to be Pulse or something. They are in Netflix Wave 3. Yeah, I think they're oh, more okay, Netflix. I don't know. I mean, I guess some of the Netflix figures are you know, probably got clearanced, but I don't know. I, I don't think it will be. I mostly just see them sitting. They don't, they don't get clearanced. Yeah. Right. I can see that being the way they choose to do it. But I definitely, like, I I totally see the value in having both of these molds for the cars, because both of them look good. You know, the Cybertronian car was fun because it's sleek and futuristic and not quite a car. And then the the real car is really good. Yes. It's just a good looking car. And I do like that it's a combination of Prowl and Smokescreen being a police car with the Smokescreen Chen. Yeah, it it's, makes him a bit more aggressive you know, as like a pursuit vehicle rather than Prowl's like, oh, it's a friendly police car. And Barricade's like the evil police car. So to have the, the more aggressive pieces added on, I think really helps that. Yeah, I think so. It's a nice I mean, I think it's cool package. that it's like a police car. Like, I mean, I do kind of wish I had that just for that mode. I, I like that, you know, the police car mode. But uh, I, I think overall, like, I think this is the only one where I like the Siege version better than the Earthrise version. I like the colors on Siege more, but I still like the proportions of this mold, the Earthrise mold, yeah. better. I mean, the Siege one's got the skinny, skinny legs and the, the giant wide chest on the top of the 
small torso. And this one is more evened out across all of that. I, I like that look better for what I'm doing. Yeah, and I think I agree with you entirely. I think that this came out as a better looking figure. This came out as better looking colors. So therefore, I want to stick with the more colorful, pretty one. Um, but at the same time, there is a little bit of regret that I already decided to get rid of this one. Um, and, you know, get it to one of my friends, too. So he can have it. But anyway, I'll live. I just, like, am conscious of the fact that this looks a little bit better, the um, the Earthrise version. Yeah. The the pale gold on the face, I think, is better than the darker gold on the Siege face. That's, like, a, just a preference thing. But I like Again, the Siege I, head I, better. I, the Siege head I do like better. The Siege head is fantastic. He just looks like a total jerk. He just looks so mean. And this one looks like smokescreen. So, yeah. which isn't bad. It isn't bad. I don't mind that they share a head, but this one just looks like such a jerk. I love him. So I, I mean, I, I don't know what to do, really. I mean, I guess I'm getting rid of Siege. It's not something I was like, oh, I have to upgrade and, and do this. But I, I do like the G1 mode better. For, you know, just for what I'm doing. The yeah, Cybertronian totally modes that. always looked off. But it'll be sad to lose that purple. I haven't looked yet. Can I switch the wheels? Can I make him have purple wheels? Mm. Or are they different connections? I think they're different connections. Boom. They are. Because they have a closed cap on the siege and an open hole cap. The pigs are very funky. So I don't think that's going to work out as much as it would be awesome if it could. Because I will say that the wheels on both of these figures became more boring. Because this one lost its colored rims. And then this one lost its purple clear wheels. Yeah. But it's okay. Like, it's not... Like, there's nothing wrong with this figure, you know? Like I said, when Lucas asked me earlier if I thought it was better, I do think it's objectively better. I just really love purple. Right. Uh, this one does use the, I think it's called the open knee variant of the mold, so it doesn't snap the legs. Like some people are having issues with on Blue Streak and Smokescreen, maybe? I can't remember. There's one or two of them that have issues. And then I don't know if you guys remember, but when we reviewed one of them, I think it was Smokescreen, I, um, I couldn't get the, the canopy piece here to sit flush. This one does sit flush. I think it's because my other one has um, the closed knee variant, so it's harder to put mm -hmm. the legs into the right position. But this one's all fine. No snapping legs, no snapping knees. Everything sits flush. So it looks like they, they, they're sticking with their running change of that mold. And also, I think that the, um, the Siege version has a more like unique build to his body just because of the weird skinny legs and the big upper body. Like, I feel like he would be more of a character that would actually, like, move on his lower wheels instead of walking. I don't know. It's just kind of a cool look to me. He feels like he would glide when he chases people. Whereas this one is just, like, it's the same old Prowl and Friends build that we've had for 600 years. So hmm. I do think that this is a more unique part for your collection. But this is still great. It is kind of nice to get a new member of the Datsun family. Yeah. For real, officially. I mean, we got him you know, last year with Siege, but like now he's like really a real Datsun. He's the bad one. He's the bad one. The black sheep. Yep. It's the one that left the family to go in. I, I don't think we've had one since. Are there any other Datsun repaints that, uh, that we can do here? Blue, blue streak. Yeah. Yeah, someone did a custom, like, blue, blue streak, and it looked fantastic. Yeah, I saw that circulating around, too. I don't know that there are any Diaclone ones that didn't make it into Transformers. I mean, you could do, like, Mexican Prowl, which is just Prowl, but with more black. Mm. And I think there's a smoke screen that's just a Prowl repaint, also from Mexico. As opposed to using the racing body, but I'm maybe making that up. I, I someone who's more versed in Diaclone would have to 
to help me on that one. At best, so, I'm a discount Destron. <laughs> uh, so, so overall with these sets, like, what's your guys' recommendations? Like, would you buy them or, you know, no? It's tough. I would definitely get Barricade. And if you don't have Punch Counter Punch, this set is a, a knockout of the park. I have right. Punch Counter Punch, and I was okay with Siege Barricade, so I was on the fence. I'm glad I did it. But I could definitely see where if you have Siege Barricade and you're happy and you've got Power of the Primes PCP, then you know, you're, you're good. You don't need it. And Lucas, I think that was the decision you made. Right, right. But, I mean, I would definitely say... I was going to say, I, I would definitely get it. Like, if you don't have a punch counter punch, I would definitely get this guy. Um, yes. And then the same thing with the barricade. Like, if you skipped out, it's like a fun fun character to own and, and whatnot. So, anyway, so sorry for interrupting, Nina. Well, I just don't think we're going to get a lot of punch counter punches, so I agree. Like, this, is, this was a mold made for punch counter punch. That is surprising that we got that in the first place, especially when we weren't getting obscure characters back then. We were getting more of the common characters. This is before the obscurity of Select's land that we're currently living in. So, like, it was just really cool to get this. And I almost feel like him getting re-released three years later is kind of a way of telling people, if you want to punch counter punch, get this one, because he's a hard thing to make, right? Because you don't usually get a mold that easily repurposes itself into punch counter punch. It just so happened that they made that reversible side swipe and um, Sunstreaker back in the day, which made it convenient. But like otherwise, you know, this is how you're going to have him in your collection. It, and he's great. Get him. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's totally lovely. fine. He's totally fine. Like I said, I almost feel like I'm nitpicking on the feet just because everything else he does right. You know, the arms are right, the head's right, the body's right. Everything else is so good. The paint's right, the color's right. <laughs> all great yep if there's a night beat kit i'll be even happier uh for now i'm gonna sit on this one and see what happens because i have two of the original one one for punch one for counter punch i've got reaper labels for both and they're all you know all permanent members in my collection but uh this one has me confused it's really pretty it does look great out of box the car mode needs a little something but it's got a nice strike it does have a nice start. And, you know, to have Barricade finally make the full transition into G1 is very cool. Uh, you know, to start out as a movie dude and then kind of make your way in and Siege and fully make your way in now, I, I think that's um, I think it's a really good accomplishment. Yes, I'd say these are definitely a recommend if you don't have either of them. But <clears throat> as far as, like, I'm perfectly happy with what I have, and do I need to upgrade? Probably not. Probably not. Although, wait for a sale, see what happens. Yeah, and if you're unhappy with what you have, then go ahead and upgrade. I mean, if you look at this and be like, oh, Punch would be so much better if he was yellow, then get him. He's yellow now. If Barricade yeah. would be so much better if he didn't have scrawny legs, get him. His legs are bigger. Yeah, so I guess soft recommend. Soft recommend, yeah. Recommend in specific circumstances on specific days of the week. Yes. The punch counter punch is definitely better than the old one with the tiny head. Sigh. What can you do? You live, you learn. So, um, tomorrow night, uh, I believe that uh, we will be oofing. So, uh, check that out on uh, the YouTube channel. Um, that will be at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central. Uh, last night we talked about the Super 7 releases of the Action Masters, what we thought about that. So uh, check that out. We also talked about Action Masters and uh, Rick was customizing something. I'm not I'm not really sure. I don't know. Yeah, it's almost yeah. paint. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what was going on. But anyway, uh, but, uh, but that was fun. Then also, uh, you know, Rick has uh, cut the tape on... Uh, I guess it's Saturdays now, um, so, <laughs> and then uh, usually we're putting the microcasters up on, on Friday nights as, as well, so uh, book club this week is R.I.D. 17 through 19, uh, 17 through 19, so you guys are getting dangerously close to uh, uh, Dark Cybertron. Yeah, I'm 
Very personal. Number one is fine. We'll live. Book club will survive through Dark Cybertron. Everyone's like, Dark Cybertron is the worst. I thought it was no more objectionable than anything else. It's better than what they're doing right now. Uh, if true. I get into that, Christian, we've already argued in this show. But <laughs> let, let me ask you, Anna, how, what, what, uh, what number are you up in the current comic? Oh, I'm still on 12. I haven't started oh, okay, yet. well, there's 27 issues, so I guess if it was that great, you'd be up to... to I'd rather too. be reading it, but I'm loyal to my book club. I can't read two okay. different Transformers universes at a time. My brain parts will explode. Okay. <laughs> it sounds really hard to keep them connect or disconnected. Straight, yes, to keep them straight. Hmm. Everyone acts out of character in the new universe, so well, it should be act- easy. I'm, I'm just going <sighs> to... All right, well, anyway... Uh, thanks everyone for joining. Uh, thanks Randall, Catherine, uh, Nick. Um, uh, I'm sorry for being a hater on the current comic. I, I actually Catherine. have not made it. I've not made it past twelve either, so I'm not exactly sure. Like again, past that may be a good comic. Who knows? So, but anyway, so. probably not though. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Anyway, but uh, thanks, guys, and we will see you next week. Thank you, everyone. See you later.